the chances of an asteroid hitting Earth and affecting us uh, during our lifetimes is extremely low. It's much lower, much, much lower than winning the lottery, right? And you don't count on winning the lottery to pay your rent. So that's a bad plan. <laughs> good, good little piece of advice there. But if you have a question about what UCF professor Umberto Campens just said, and it comes up during a showing of the movie Armageddon, you're going to be prepared with an answer. That's right. The planetary scientist has made numerous appearances here on News 6 at 9, and we love all of his insight on the space and science. And this week he was a guest on our Space Curious podcast. Podcast host and News 6 space reporter Emily Speck joins us now. And Emily, I'm so excited about this episode. It is all about asteroids. So a very important question. How do we know where these asteroids are? Well, uh, there's a lot of ways we know where these asteroids are, but one of our other guests on this show, Anne Verke, she actually helps track asteroids, and she's down in Puerto Rico at the second world's largest observatory. So we do know where these asteroids are, and it's kind of their job to, to track these near-Earth asteroids. It gets a little scary when we talk about it coming closer to us. Is there any way that you can kind of help people who uh, have heard that and then maybe blown it a little out of proportion feel better about that? Well, that's kind of what inspired this episode is I know you've seen the headlines. I've seen the headlines. It's, you know, this asteroid is coming towards Earth. Well, it's coming towards Earth, but let's remember, space is huge. So when we're saying it's coming near Earth, most likely it's very rare if something passes between, say, the Earth and the Moon. So that's a very far distance. We do have one coming up, I think, in 2029. It's called Apophis, and it's going to pass closer to Earth, kind of near where the Earth orbiting satellites are. So that's pretty close, but it's not expected to hit. Okay, it will be very on brand for one for 2020 for one to come pretty close to us. So, who is in charge of keeping us updated on any potential threats? Right. So, um, NASA has an office of planetary defense, and it's kind of their job when something is coming close to to alert other scientists, to alert the community, to alert the public. And if something were to happen that it's coming close enough for concern, it would definitely come from that office. Now, this isn't new, Emily. I mean, forever we have probably had asteroids coming close and uh, maybe didn't have the technology to really track it. But at this point, do we have some sort of line of defense against them? So that's another really great question because NASA is actually working on one of its first defense missions, um, and it's called DART. And the plan is basically to send a spacecraft, and they're kind of going to push an, a smaller asteroid that's orbiting a bigger asteroid and see if they can change its trajectory. So it's not quite Armageddon, but it is pretty cool. And that technology would be a good test of what we need to do if something is coming close and endangering the planet. Troy's standing right off camera, and he liked that question. He oh, likes yeah. to know that there is a plan. Yeah. Now, you spoke with Professor Campens, and he has done a lot of work with the Osiris, Osiris Rex project. And you spoke with him just hours before that boop we've been talking about. How excited was he about this? Oh, my God. He <laughs> was so, we all love Humberto, right? He comes on all the time, and he just wows us with his knowledge of asteroids. But he has been working on asteroid research for most of his career. And so he was just so, so excited. But I also got to talk, talk to him about, I don't know, 20 or 30 minutes after that boop happened. <laughs> and that was some serious excitement. And he seems to think that, it, we're going to find out this weekend, but he seems to think that they got a really big collection. So fingers crossed that that happens. We're going to find out this Saturday. Saturday when they send the spacecraft on like a little twirl and they'll be able to measure how much they actually got. Oh, we find out this weekend and we love a twirl. Yeah, oh, boops yes. and twirls yeah. and space yeah. and Emily. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Emily. That was great. The newest episode of Space Curious is live now. Just head to clickorlando.com slash space. Episodes come out every other Wednesday and you can also download podcasts from wherever you like to get your podcasts or go to clickorlando.com slash podcasts.